<clears throat> Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. You guys, let's tap in. Let's please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you. Your personal situations and leave the rest. What's the overall energy? <clears throat> What's the overall energy, please? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Hmm. So we got doing too much. Somebody has a huge ego. Big ego. Somebody doing too much. Because they're doing something out of their ego. Could be a Leo or a Capricorn, but this is like abuse of power. Going overboard in the situation. Like, they just doing too much. Somebody could be having like a temper tantrum and that's why they're like being extra. Okay, somebody could be being extra and it's like, dude, what are you doing? That kind of energy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, somebody about to have gloomy thoughts. Somebody could be going to jail or something like that. Or whatever they did, they feel like they can go get, get up. Yeah. Somebody might get locked up for something that they did. Because they're power hungry. All in their ego. Somebody has clarity about something. <clears throat> what is this? Strength in the reverse. Doing so much. Abuse of power. What are you doing so much on? What's happening? Big ego. Abuse of power. They wish they didn't. Okay, so they already did too much. <laughs> and they wishing that they didn't. Somebody could be having a lot of anxiety, unemployed, grieving, weeping, sadness, stressed the fuck out. Because they did too much. They, was, they did something out of ego. And they said about it okay yeah they were they wish that they were content with something but maybe they didn't they weren't so they said because maybe you getting great fortune or somebody's the tables could be turning or something back off voodoo so somebody was doing voodoo <laughs> to become a great leader. All right. You weren't their victim, so congratulations. I am not a victim. You could be dressed for alchemy. All right. Haha. <laughs> That's funny to say three, three, three. But you could be dressed for alchemy. You're not somebody's victim. They were theirs. That's why they said or something. They did too much. What's going on? Yeah. Somebody could be reconsidering their alliances and making new ones. You're not their victim because you reconsidered your alliance and make new ones. Or somebody's not a victim. They're reconsidering their alliances and making new ones. What goes around comes around. The three fates could be happening. Yeah. In this regret, obsessive grief or playing the past, negative nostalgia. Something's got transmitted to the spiritual realm. You have a magical protector. So what goes around comes around. Somebody could be... Very sad, unemployed, you know, grieving, weeping. They could have did something to you and they're just getting a karma as well. I don't know, whatever. Somebody could be 36. Something about 2016. Uh, something that they did around that time could be transmitted to the spiritual realm now. And it could have had you in this energy or they really regret doing something to you around that time. 
You have a magical protector. Yeah, autumn was their last chance. So they're very sad. Uh, autumn was their last chance to do something. Okay. Or whatever that is. And it's like, Zim. Hmm. Yeah, things are getting serious. You got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could have been committed to doing something. You could be opening your heart. It's helping you attract more love. Yeah, you have a guardian angel watching over you. Hmm. What else? Narcissist in the reverse. Wow. Someone is not full of themselves anymore. About a love spell. Maybe due to a love spell. A narcissist maybe thought that you were under a love spell and you're not. Alright, that's another thing. <clears throat> Honeymoon phase. Health issue could arise for someone doing a love spell or... Something was short lived, so a health issue could arise or something like that. Honeymoon phase. So. Somebody want to talk to you about something? They want to sit down and talk about something now. Spying. Somebody got their eye on you. They're trying to give it time because the Mercury retrograde. All right. Somebody want to come back around and have relations with somebody or something. Somebody spying on you. Someone going to confess something. Opening your heart. Things are getting serious. Expect a breakup. Okay. Open your heart. It'll help you attract more love. Confession. Someone got something to tell you. Spying. Around this time... Something could have happened to you around this time um, last year or the year before that. I'm feeling like last year and it's not happening. So somebody like they're nervous about something or they know they did too much. Somebody did a lot to make you be in this sorrowful energy, sad Whatever they did. Somebody did so much to somebody. Oh, I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, somebody really did a lot to y'all, y'all. For real. Somebody did a lot to somebody. And it's it's like... They know that they about to get that, that energy back. Because you didn't deserve something that they did to you. That's the energy I'm picking up. Whatever somebody did to y'all, you didn't deserve that. At all. They was just in their ego. Um, it's like somebody refusing to see the truth about a situation. Whether this is relationship or just uh, somebody outside of you guys. Um, when it came to matters of the heart. Open your heart. It'll help you attract more love. Hmm. Fragile heart. That's been exposed. Somebody can have a very fragile heart. That's why you put this. Somebody knows why you're putting distance between you and some them or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Distance and toxic. Lord. A fake apology from somebody that's toxic. They won't cut it. Okay. This person thought they can make you a fake apology after doing whatever they did. It's not going to work. They know that. Somebody could have tried to make you hate love or make you feel like there was no love in the, on the planet energy or something crazy like that. Like somebody is giving emotional abuse. Okay. As soon as you open your heart to somebody, they'll be there to, like, 
break it or something. Like somebody wanted you to constantly get your heart broke. And they know they was wrong for that. Like you didn't deserve that. Yeah. Hmm. They know you ain't deserve that. So opening your heart, it'll help you attract more love. Open your heart, it'll help you attract more love. Somebody about to open their heart and confess something. Crumbling. Wow. So something is crumbling. Because you get to open your heart. What you have built is feels like it's falling apart. It's okay. You have the strength to build anew. Wow. Somebody could be watching. The shit go down and enjoying the gossip. Because you get to open your heart. And you're about to rebuild from the bottom up when it comes to trust, love, or something like that. Maybe there's somebody coming into your life that's going to put you on this path here. All right. Because <clears throat> something is crumbling. It's crumbling. Oh, no. Oh, wow. A divorce. Somebody's breaking up, breaking a contract. Somebody's falling apart. Somebody could be feeling like somebody was two-faced. Game over. Wow. So something is falling. Somebody is wanting a divorce and it's falling. Somebody's falling apart. Something is over. Falling into pieces. The contract is over. Especially if this was like a contract to some crazy strange energies of swapping destinies or whatever. Uh, it's over now. And somebody's falling apart. The contract is over. It was falling apart. Falling into pieces. It was falling into pieces. Falling into pieces. Falling into pieces. Okay. So what? Hold on. Keeping a promise. Wow. Falling into pieces. Somebody had kept a promise to be childish. And someone has been. Someone has to be the adult here in the room. Maybe the term should have been grow up or get out. Somebody is tangled now in something. Unable to free themselves in a sticky situation. Taking a step back helps you see clearly. Somebody wished that they wouldn't have been so childish. They fall in the park because they was being extra childish. Hmm. Towards you in some way. Watching the shit go down and enjoying the gossip. Somebody wanted you to keep keep you in some dark, dark energy, a jokester that's full of drama. No, they fucked up because they was keeping it something a secret. They had tantric sex with someone out of envy and they've been bottling this shit up that this person only wanted to control something here. And that's why somebody was going through the motions, trying to get somebody all tangled up in some sex shop energy. And what's happening now, something was unpredictable. What's happening right now when it comes to an individual, they didn't see coming or something like that. So, it's just like, what the hell? Okay. Um, like I said, because this person was a narcissist or something. Maybe they were so sure of whatever this is. But now they tangled up in some dark side on the dark side energy someone got something to tell you confession <clears throat> wow depressed somebody is very depressed that you are no longer willing to fight for this somebody is depressed that you're not fighting for this person at all they're in their feelings because they really wish you forgive them Forgiving a joker 
it was all just a game. Love is not a game, sweetheart. People feelings matter. And now this person feels like they're going to have to feel whatever they've been made you feel. Whatever. Somebody all in their feelings here. They didn't mean to hurt you. All right. It says, but you're holding on to it. Forgiveness helps you get past it. Somebody really in their feelings. Somebody got something to tell you. They depressed and really in their feelings. Or something somebody might confess might really put somebody in their feelings about a joker. They really, it was it was all a game or something like that. I don't know what game this was, but that ain't no game. Playing with, with feelings ain't a game, baby. Somebody envies that the fact that you didn't have a bank failure. Somebody can have to check themselves right now. Yeah, this person that could be envying you, they could be trying to make an exit plan. Someone wants out of a situation. Somebody want to get away from people that envy you. Like, it was a bad situation. They don't know why they signed up to go against you. Somebody just wish they, they just want out now because it's just all bad. It's all wrong. It's just toxic. And they feel tangled up in something now. Like, they didn't... The contract is over. Everything is falling to pieces. It's like, oh my God, you know. And somebody wants you to forgive them for being a joker. It was all just a game to them. Yeah, but they know that's complicated. Something is complicated. Because it's weird. This person hated nothing about you. Apparently. But which, what, what kind of game is that to hurt somebody? Like... You can't be hurting people. And somebody did overboard because that right there, somebody was in their ego. Like something that someone did to you guys, it just was uncalled for, unnecessary. It's like day in and day out. If this is someone that you uh, was in a connection with, a uh, soulmate connection, whatever this is, y'all. I could have been in a relationship with this person at some time here. It's just, mm -mm. they know love spells won't work. Nothing will work. Like, this person knows for a fact that they disappointed you. Like, and beyond. Whew. And then did things to rub it in your face. Like, how much you didn't mean to them. But then... They expect you to believe that you meant everything to them. Come on, man. Like, you got to get realistic. You have to get realistic. Whoever this individual is, like, come on. Come on. Only reason why somebody want to reconsider their alliances is because you wasn't the victim. And they know they about to get whatever they gave to you back. So they want you to help them get out of something as well. Come on. Like somebody got to get it together. It's like seriously. <laughs> like it's no. What would be. what? It's no. It's no sense in hurting another individual. The way that they did y'all. It wasn't complicated. You were just being a jerk. It's a lot of twists and turns in this situation when it comes to someone's perception of why they did something. It's complicated. Why they ran away. It's complicated. Because somebody could be wanting to run away. Somebody envies the fact that this is the end. This is the end. You're pretending that it's not ended, but it is. It's time to let go. Because a fresh start is happening. And they've been bottling something up. Unexpected emotions they've been holding back. Okay. Yeah, because they could have made spun a story about you. 
Because now they're worried about their public image. Because they had a wandering eye or somebody was just very disrespectful trying to control a situation. Because they were being immature. And they need to check themselves or they could have tried to spin a story like, oh, you was controlling. Let's go back here. They've been bottling up. Oh, it's because of your public image or whatever. Why are you keeping your options open? And this person is a jealous lover here. All right. Or they could have been connected to a jealous lover. This person also could be the type that needed to be right about a situation. How it because somebody was saying you was very immature. Uh, all of this cool stuff, you have an attitude problem, blah, blah, blah. And this person needs to check themselves. Because they did this so that you can go under. So that you can barely keep afloat. They did that to, like somebody tried to defamation a character, talk really bad about you. They need to check themselves because they know they was wrong. Okay? This person was two-faced towards you. And very toxic. And somebody knows why. You, why you're so emotionally intelligent now is because you've been burnt before. Afraid to love someone again. Unhealed trauma and running away. You ran away from this person. And they got the nerve to be mad after what they know what they did. This is the kind of individual that even put others before you type of energy. Like everybody was better than you. And then you got the nerve to want somebody to just be like, oh, okay, well, cool. Yeah, sure. No problem. Because you ready? Are you, you, whoever this individual is, is not realistic. You screamed it to the top of your lungs how whoever this individual is, whoever y'all are, was not good enough. Okay? This person felt like now that they had to be high to kick you to the curb for somebody else. That they going through hell in a handbasket with. But yet, they put you through 20 times worse. And that's what I feel like somebody could be worried about. They could be worried that. They were going to get that back. And that's what they don't want. We're going to spy in. Pregnancy. Somebody knows someone isn't pregnant, or they envy the fact that they got somebody pregnant that envied you. Somebody also could be trying to deny pregnancy. Okay, like I never get them pregnant, or but they did, or something like that. Pregnancy test. What's the pregnancy test? They know damn well uh, something happened and they're trying to, like, this is weird. Pregnancy test. So somebody found out that something about pregnancy or y'all having children with somebody that was toxic. <sighs> Jesus. Or somebody got pregnant, somebody pregnant that was toxic. They wishing they would use protection. A fake friend want to apologize now because they tried to burn the evidence, okay, of why they was putting distance between you and someone. This person is just toxic as fuck. Like, somebody got somebody pregnant that was toxic or that, like, and didn't lie about it. What's toxic? Yeah, shit about to pop off. We got devilish. And shit about to pop off in flames. So, somebody got someone that was toxic. Somebody got somebody pregnant that was toxic and devilish. Trouble follows this person. Alright? This person could have very addictive charm. This person could... Uh, a situation could be about to explode. Something about to backfire in this person's face. Because they're two-faced as fuck. Somebody is seeing that. Yeah, they're two-faced and toxic. Doing drugs. They feel like they had to be high to kick you to the curb. All right. And then try to reveal something to put you in a tangled web. And something is set in stone now. That this person literally was just putting on a show to cause drama. Because somebody 
hate nothing about you, knowing damn well they was still keeping their options open. So they should have been more emotionally intelligent, okay, before they did something. And they look crazy because it's like, how are you... How you gonna fuck around? This is like even somebody trying. Like you don't deal with them. They like, oh, it's alright, it's cool. Cause I'm a, I'm a expose you, and put you on blast or some weird shit like that. And somebody looking at this person like you weird as shit. Like for doing something like that. Like that's childish as fuck. Like or, that's weird. Like, this is even giving the equivalent of like, uh, intimate moments with somebody, and they you stop dealing with this person, and they want to put your business out on the internet or something like that. Something real weird. Like this person is very strange, and they it was it's weird because the reasoning behind the split or something it was all because of them. They were toxic as fuck, or this person doesn't. Okay, this is the kind of energy that don't like taking accountability. Because I'm like, why the fuck is they trying to throw everything at you? And they just wanted you to forgive them for doing all this crazy shit to you. Putting you last, not valuing you, talking shit about you, being two-faced, and doing all types of shit. And then, because they show up, they want you to put them on a pedestal? Absolutely not. You have the obligation to walk away or say no at any given time. This is your life, your story, your play, how you are cultivating your reality. I don't know who this person think they are, but they realize that with this narcissist in the reverse that they don't, they look stupid, okay? When Because they fucked up. All they look like is two-faced and weird. They played with your emotions, tried to make you insecure here. This person is not who you thought they was. So if something is about to pop off in flames here. Yeah. Situation is about to explode. Why? Because you put distance. You so far away. Physically, emotionally. Yeah, you put distance between this person. They wanted to put you in a vicious cycle here. A tantric sex. Vicious cycle of getting a room with somebody that envy you. The fuck? This person is, don't even like you. Like, <laughs> this person is strange. Because around other people, they talk hella shit about you, but try to smile in your face. You know. Somebody wanted you to be... Mm -mm. <laughs> distance. So you put distance between you and this person. Okay. That is promiscuous. Exactly. Okay. And they're acting a fool. And they don't... Because they don't know how to control themselves. And they fake friends is just looking at them like... They need to learn how to control themselves because they trying to cause you all this drama or be weird. Yeah, these fake friends, their own friends don't want to hear that shit. And now they like, oh, I'm sorry for burning the evidence of something that they did. We got hot toddies. Something was a bad choice because of your public image. The only thing that's going to come out is that this person is a bugaboo that you had a brief affair with as somebody investigated something. And they know why you closed off. And this person feels crushed because everything is being mirrored back to them. <laughs> it's some weird shit. Okay. Like, so now they crush because you don't. Ain't nobody on their side. Yeah. Something was short lived here. This person that's promiscuous is a dangerous hater. This is crazy. That's a late bloomer. There could be an age gap. Somebody could be very immature. Very strange energy, y'all. And this is what somebody is finding out about an individual. Honeymoon phase. So we got the honeymoon phase. What about the honeymoon phase? Attending somebody's wedding. Honeymoon phase. Bugaboo. Exactly. So something was short-lived with a bugaboo. Brace for a sudden ending. Something was short-term, short, -term, short, -term, short, short but sweet. But it wasn't ever going to last because this person is toxic. They have unhealthy habits and they're a weirdo. They're show off. Like, this is like even like you, you like, yo, you know, you dealing with somebody that's, you know, has some sort of status in life. And you tell this person like, you know, yeah, meet me at the such and such. Uh, Don't, you know, no phones, you know, cut your shit off, this and that and the third. But this person feels as though that they can bring 
they stuff because oh we we go back or oh it's it's like what the fuck what are you doing but it's only because they want to show off some weird shit need to prove something to other people or what that's where they fucked up at because it's like even they friends or somebody like man i wouldn't have did none of that shit like you wouldn't have heard from me until such and such and such i don't know like somebody could have got invited to a trip to cancun or some shit like that or you could have um really like i don't know I, i'm just getting i don't know if this is a masculine that dealt with a feminine energy that stepped out of line here when it came to or this could be a feminine all right but somebody know where they fucked up at like you weird for that and that's why something didn't last or something like that and they know that's where they fucked up at and then they try to go behind your back and betray you like what I'm like, what? When something was an escape, I don't know. Like something, love and is, love is an emotional escape for whoever you are. Maybe if you have like this, you could be a very business minded person or you, whatever. Something is emotional escape. It's like somebody took that away. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because love is an emotional escape. But if you telling paparazzi where y'all going to be at, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's not It's not the same. You can't even be comfortable with the individual. And maybe something like that happened, y'all. And maybe something like that happened that they feel like they know they fucked up. I don't know where y'all went, but somebody felt like that's where they fucked up at. But, and now I guess the friends are fake because they don't agree with this person. And then they try to do some weird shit. They're like, you weird as fuck for that, bro. Like. Like, somebody's really like, mm. and maybe these people <laughs> are reconsidering their alliances. Like, they seeing somebody true colors, and they like, mm, yeah, nah, because, like, that's weird. Like, why would you even do that? But it's all, it was all about the show off. This is the kind of energy that I, you show off when your foot, when your feet is grounded in the situation, not when you're, you're replaceable. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody doesn't know that. Maybe they don't i don't know maybe i don't know i ain't, i don't know how this is playing out for somebody but this is like what the fuck you know what i mean <laughs> it's like what the fuck are you doing like what what, what cardi say no face no no case energy like somebody wanted to be seen they wanted their face to be splashed all over like <sighs> something like that is happening yeah because as soon as Somebody start investigating. Because <laughs> somebody want to know why you was closed off and they know now or something like that. This person was going through the motions or something like that. This is weird, y'all. Brief affair. So there was a brief affair with a bugaboo. Okay. Yeah, you're not fighting for this person. Somebody found evidence in a situation. All right. Yeah, you don't care about whatever this is. There's no battle here. There's no fight for what you love. There was maybe y'all wasn't in love with somebody or something like that. And somebody got caught. Too little, too late. Taken, not ready to love again. So somebody felt like you're not ready to love again or something like that. This person thought they was going to be living in the fantasy world with you or something like that. But they feel like it's a, like a dark cloud that followed them because somebody feel like somebody is not willing to settle down. Neither was they, but it's cut both ways type of energy. Like this person feel insecure now because something, mm, bad timing. Somebody got caught. Something was bad timing. So somebody getting rid of it, throwing it away. Police is here. Total drama. Police in private relationship with a snake that be doing drugs. This is weird. Somebody should have thought very, they should have thought better. Somebody should have been more emotionally intelligent. Yeah.
We got uh, Narcissus in the reverse. Yeah, they got to check they self. Checking they self. Because something is over. There's an ending of betraying somebody. Escape. Somebody's very angry. So somebody got to check they self. Because something is over. We got ending. You pretending that it ain't over, but it is. Somebody's about to have a fresh start. Fake friends is was keeping a secret. So a friend of theirs gonna keep a secret because they feel like they got played. Or a friend telling somebody, yeah, that shit over, chalk it up. You know, secrets of the past, false hopes. So, somebody keeping it a secret that they thought that they was going to be able to manipulate you, but they know they fucked up because they the ones that got tied up here in something. They feel empty now. Because though you may have been hurt before, this person thought that they would have a chance to start over with you. And you could have uh, matched somebody's energy or something like that. Oh, child. So, something is over. We want somebody that could have, they could have been a real friend, fake friend in the reverse. So, they checking themselves because something came to an end with a friend that they had because they was keeping a secret. Yeah, game over. This person is heartbroken. They could be exposed for being two-faced and toxic and putting on a show because they're insecure they're insecure because you're high maintenance or high value and they fucked up this is like somebody that even this is a narcissist you can't play narcissist tactics with somebody that is a value or a high value man or high value woman you can't do shit like that like this is even somebody that tried to lessen your dummy your value down like really oh okay like you you somebody really like lost it and this friend is like or a friend of theirs or something like that they like bro you can't if this was like a narcissist because narcissists like to tap into other people's insecurities but when you meet somebody that don't have any insecurities because they have everything together they have all their boxes checked from mentally physically emotionally and everything else around them the, the tangible things you can't play that type of narcissist game with them because hey, what? So somebody friend could have said, yo, you, you need to check yourself because you you can't play that game with the you fuck this up. You did that. Or whatever this is. This is like somebody not playing their position right or something like that. I don't know how deep this go, y'all, but somebody feel like they really messed up because they didn't play their position right. Maybe they friend telling them like you fucked that up. Like ah, shit, this is ain't a third. Like, I wouldn't have, you wouldn't have, like, this is like, oh, you, you was right there with it, da, 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 like, something like that. Like, that could be an argument that happened or whatever. But it's like, this person got beside themselves. And let's just keep it a beat. Okay? I don't know. I don't know what somebody does or who I'm reading for, but you're, uh, no. Nah. You understand? Like, mm -mm. <laughs> you, this person really messed up. Okay. Because they would be immature. It's like deep, you know, something like that, y'all. They was doing love and lust spells. It don't work. You're protective. So this is okay. So maybe they was doing love spells on you, sex magic or lust, lust spells. And they're realizing like none of that was that was your authentic energy. So somebody could have thought that they called you in or pulled you towards them or something like that. No, you genuinely wanted to fuck with somebody. And they like, damn, so it wasn't a love spell? No. So it's like somebody realizing that you did they that whatever energy you was giving to someone, it had nothing to do with love spells because now that they're trying to do them back to back to back, it ain't working at all. Because it was never a love spell. It was genuine feelings for somebody. You genuinely fuck with somebody. And this person did some nut shit. And it's like, what the hell? You know, kind of energy. They like, what? What is this? 
Okay, A, first, last, middle, initial, yours or theirs. This person would rather be with you, but they kind of scared of you in 4K, okay? Wednesday, somebody was doing beauty spells on you in the fall. Like, you see what I'm saying? Also, I feel like they did, that you're protected, though. They doing love spells on you and beauty spells because now they're mad. Like, oh, I'm going to mess up your beauty. Like, dude, you can't mess up anything for this individual. They are self-made. You can't mess up nothing. You can't stop somebody's flow or any of that. You fucked up. And you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. They fucked up, not you. This is wild. <laughs> and then you got somebody watching the gossip, watching it all go down. And they say they drinking and talking and rumor. Like, I wouldn't have did. I, you wouldn't have caught me doing no nothing. I would have been. Da -da -da -da. You know how people talk. And then you got to imagine that on top of it's like. Damn, what happened? It's like that. And then you got to deal with that. Like, this is somebody that is, has a big ego. You understand? And they hurt. Like, their ego is crushed right now. This person feels hella insecure because they know they played their position all the way wrong. Whoever this is, male or female, y'all. I don't know who this message resonates for. But somebody know damn well they played their position all the way wrong. When it came to you. Okay. This person could be an Islamic man or a woman a week ago. They want to talk to you about everything now. This man, they got a thick beard. This was a suicide mission. Everybody been caught. Somebody is salty as fuck that this warfare is really over now. Somebody with a silver tan, brown, burgundy, purple, gold, turquoise, or white car. Somebody else, they got a black, red, orange, purple, blue, green, or gray car. Something about somebody moon sign a year ago. Something about somebody nephew and mother and a niece and a son two weeks ago. Okay. NK, Scorpio, and a Virgo. This woman has a shortcut or long hair that could be Catholic. And Aquarius is your true love or your true love is coming in because they made a right choice about dealing with an earth angel. Okay. But yeah, so somebody made a right choice here about choosing to be with an earth angel. Like somebody could have mental issues now over a Libra or about a Libra V, a Gemini. So somebody is losing a shit. Okay, so this could be a, a air sign relationship. Somebody could be somebody true love or whatever the case may be in this connection or whatever. And somebody could have fucked up. All right, in a situation here, we got Monday. Take it as it resonates. Something about a Jehovah's Witness truck driver. They didn't mean what they said about others about you on Sunday. To a Vietnamese man or a woman. Yeah, they could have been saying you had a dark attachment. All this cool shit to this person or this person was saying that. But it, that's they know you're an earth angel. <laughs> like, whoever the air sign is, they like, come on. Like, just say you fucked up or something like that. All right. Um, If you're reading this, it's too late. Also, somebody feel is upset that they ran away from you, like on a whole nother level, like, and then did all this crazy shit and was gonna be like, hey, what? It's like, come on, balance and harmony being restored in every area of your life. Somebody done seen you going through a body transformation, getting fit. Could be a Sagittarius that's been stalking you. They could be a part of a religious cult. Your ancestors sold them the back, d the fuck up because you're protected from all evil now that you are in your north node okay <sighs> Child. somebody was just being king petty a leo could be a russian man or a woman somebody just was being king petty when it came to you that's why they're not friends with this person no more like somebody didn't want you to yeah you're, this could even be an ex-lover they're not fucking with this person no more a Taurus. somebody like, nah man because like, somebody lied a lot. They did a lot of lying about you. And then they saw thee because the contract that they put on your head type of energy is over. And they just, it's there getting the backlash of something, y'all. Yeah, because uh, believe it or not, 
as people see whoever you are, they like the new you. They like how you have grown, healed, and evolved, and all responsible, and you got this going for yourself, and all that. Hell yeah, they like, yo. Like, whatever you did to this person was horrible, but it, it made, like, the, you done became the total package. You got, you got everything going on for you. Who wouldn't want to marry somebody like you? <laughs> or who wouldn't want to be with somebody like you? And they understand, like, the people that, it's weird that the people that has did this, these heinous crimes to you want to come back around to you. Why? It's like, what do they want to see it up close in person? Like, wow, like, you really did go through a body transformation. Or, wow, you really did, you really are taking good care of yourself. Wow, you really are. Da -da -da. And then you're trying to treat this type of individual like they the old person that you destroyed? Absolutely not. You will get laughed out of the water with that energy. You'll get laughed out of your spot with that energy because ain't no way you have grown so much. You can't treat the same, that person like that. You, you'll be the weakest link and people will start talking about you because whoever that is, is the total package. It's not the same vibration anymore. And that's what's making somebody hella insecure because the vibration of your frequency has changed. And they feel like they can't even reach that shit right now. They don't even know what the, like, what? As they was tearing you down, you was healing. They gonna learn today. They gonna learn today, honey. A crooked boss and a co-worker. Could have lost everything for coming for you. We got a cousin, you. They about to ghost you. The police is watching them. Somebody, uncle and grandpa. These three men. It could be three men. They being watched here. Somebody used to be a chef. A man or a woman that's short. Something about the full moon. They know they messed up bad. A Caucasian man or a woman that an old neighbor B Z on Friday. Somebody knows somebody wanted to be with you so bad. That's the only reason why there was somebody in your energy trying to get revenge. So you can expect positive changes here. He's finally walking away from a karmic. You're protected from dream magic collective. Yeah, nobody, because nobody's believing this person lies anymore. He don't got that comeback or whatever that is. He was saying you was pressed on him or whatever he was saying. Oh, she ain't never going to walk away from. Okay. <laughs> something like that and you walk away and they're like oh damn so something is off for Tuesday with a Pisces something about Tuesday in a reverse yeah something ain't gonna work at all what's going on we got Thursday yeah somebody know you single you single single we got S somebody know you single Thursday, everybody gonna know you're single and they gonna want to put the applications in or something. <laughs> no, I hope this helped you guys.